a similar to n function o function can be applied to test in several logical conditions and produce the test result as true if at least one condition is satisfied so when it comes to n uh, formula n function you need to satisfy all the conditions all the arguments in the function you can go for 255 arguments if all the arguments you enter to the formula if all the arguments satisfy it your function will give you the result as true otherwise false that is for n function for o functions you can provide several conditions or logical arguments you will get the result true if at least one argument satisfied one argument true so this is the syntax for o functions you can write the formula with equal sign then or open parenthesis you can enter the conditions you want if or if at least one condition is satisfied formula will give you the result as true otherwise false so according for you to have a false result you need to have all the conditions unsatisfied all the conditions untrue then o function will give you result as false so we now see how this can be applied so we in this uh, student data database let's uh, say we want to find out student from either from management faculty or from accounting department so we want to identify student who are coming either from management faculty or from a department of accounting so accordingly we can start writing o function o one condition the faculty should be management or the department should be accounting possible backer so this time for this student george it is false because he is not from a faculty of management or from department of accounting then we can copy this to rest of the people so you can see bandar for bandar is true because bandar is from management both right he satisfy all both conditions so it is true for fatima again for fatima it is true because fatima is from management but he is she is not from department of accounting but she is from management so one condition satisfied is still it is true and matthew and sil all these two people these two people also satisfy both conditions so according to you can identify for the people satisfy both uh, at least one condition if you feel this result is not convenient not you can incorporate if function to this you can say if and write o condition function and if this condition satisfy let's say yes otherwise we leave it blank so just put two in order comma that's all enter so you can see is from who satisfied at least one condition they got just in front of their name so like this you can incorporate more logical condition reasoning to your if function with either n function or if function uh, n function or o function your typical basic if function has just one logical 
reason in logical conditional logic and two output parameters but you can incorporate more condition conditional logic through and function and or function if you empower if you empower your if function with and function or with o function then it is called compound conditions in if function so we will now uh, look at an example relating to application of o function activity number 3 in a school relating to the online student evaluation depending on the response of the student a confirmation message needs to be displayed as below if the response of the student is yes or no our model needs to indicate null value null value means if the student has entered yes or no is acceptable so you, we don't need to give any message otherwise if the student is or the respondent gives uh, alternative other modes of answers then we have to give a message saying that response must be yes or no otherwise you can't get uh, provide any other forms of response okay how we can do this shall we try let's say uh, this is the picture section or let's say this is a picture and this way is supposed to make the duties of a response right so this cell value this cell value this cell value should be feed uh, should be provided with should be entered with this cell value should be filled with either yes or no otherwise we should give a message here so accordingly this is our output area let's say message comes here this is where student is going to enter his response so we'll write the formula here for the message we'll say or the student can enter either yes or no so we can say or this value must be equal to yes or this value must be equal to No. If this satisfied, for this time is for because there is no response. So then this O can right. Then this O function can be compounded or can be combined with if function. We say if we combine to if function and we take all the expression as one like conditional logic. Our first argument in the if function, if this argument satisfied, if this argument is satisfied, then it's good. No, no need to provide any response. Argument satisfied means you have provided with either yes or no. If so, you don't need to provide any message. So just put none. You don't provide any wordings inside this two inverted commas. You just put two inverted commas without putting any message. Otherwise, you have to use error message or you can say response response must be yes or no
right so we now put uh, yes okay no problem if it's going to say no no problem if you say none no it is not a not an acceptable form of response let's say yes but uh, something still is not acceptable we need to provide either yes or no both accept otherwise if you view it blank still you can't go ahead there's an error message so read the answer for so that's it so like this you can incorporate and formula and o formula to incorporate more logical reasons more logical conditions to your if function and to empower your if function so thanks for watching so in the next video we will discuss more advanced applications of if functions